if you could take it No, you wanna see me naked, naked, naked I wanna be a baby, baby, baby Spinning in as much as I can get from What's good guys, welcome back to another video So today is Sunday And I'm going to be doing an update On some of the missing person cases That I have covered or crime stories So today I'm going to be touching on Jennifer Keese who went missing about 13 years ago. There has been some updates and some new information about her case. And then we'll be talking about Rodney Reed, who is set to be executed on the 20th. And then just talking about the little girl Dolce um, Alcabez. I know I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, and just talk about her case a little bit more as well. So let's go. So first things first, let's talk about Jennifer Keese. Um, again, guys, if you have not watched her story, I will link everything down below so you can go read a little bit, listen to a little bit more about her case. But I'll give you guys just a backstory. She went missing 13 years ago from Orlando, Florida, and her family has been in a fight to figure out what has happened to her. It's been a long time. I can only imagine what her family feels. So recently, there has been new tips of, on surrounding her case. And her family, they have been at odds with the police department in Orlando for a long time, from what it seems. They recently just won um, over her police reports, everything pertaining to her case so that they could take it to a private investigator because they felt like Orlando police officers or detectives weren't doing their job to really find out what happened to Jennifer. So they had to pay a total of $18,000 in order to get this information. That's beyond me, but I guess that's just how it works. I never I never knew that you had to pay a lot of money in order to get those files and stuff like that. But I guess it's only right. But pretty much, so basically, a woman has come forward on November 9th of this year stating that she told police officers that she's seen a van around surrounding the lake near where Jennifer Keese lives and that they should definitely go check out the lake. Um, from what I have read, detectives said that they, I believe they tried to look at the lake, but they never really did. But her family, of course, with the private investigator, they end up going to search the lake. Nothing was found, but there was new information that came about. And they all, her family also has stated that there has been new tips coming in and they just really wanna find out what happened to Jennifer Keese is really sad again because it's been 13 years and your daughter just goes off the face of the earth and you don't know what has happened to them but her family states that they are working diligently to figure out what has happened that's really all the new information that i have about jennifer keys but i did want to update you guys let you guys know that as i research and see new tips coming in or whatever i do find i will update you because again we don't want their stories to keep being buried so really sending love and light to Jennifer Keith's family and hoping they find some new information pertaining to her. So let's talk about Mr. Rodney Reed. Again, if you guys have not watched that story, you should definitely go check it out. I'll link it all down below. So, cause it's more so in detail. This is more so an update and I want you guys to have the full picture so you can really understand and just to stay on top of it, just like me. Rodney Reed was set to be executed on November 20th, 2019, which is literally days away. But on Sunday, November 16th, at about 10.59 p.m., there was a thing to block him from being executed. Hold on, put on, hold on one quick. I wanna read from the article so that I can have it all, and I'll probably post it so you guys see. It says, Texas highest criminal appeals court has stopped the execution of inmate Rodney Reed, whose conviction is being questioned by new evidence in his case. The stay of execution issued Friday afternoon by the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals comes just hours after the state's parole board unanimously recommended a 121 day for Reed. The appeals court returned the case of, to the trial court in Vassar County so it could examine Reed's claims that he is innocent and that the prosecutor suppressed evidence and presented false testimony. The 51-year-old Reed has been set for lethal injection Wednesday evening for the 1996 killing of 19-year-old Stacy Sites near the Central Texas. Reed's efforts to stop his execution have garnered have garnered support from lawmakers and celebrities. Reed has a long has long maintained his innocence. So 
Rodney Reed has basically 120 days before another date will be set for execution. So this is really great for his case because he can try to block this or mainly walk free if the new evidence that he is claiming will set him free. Um, if you guys don't know, I'll just give you guys a quick backstory on Rodney Reed. Again, Rodney Reed is set to be executed for the killing of 19 year old Stacy Sykes, um, who he has maintained his innocence from the very beginning. I have not found one article of Rodney Reed stating that he killed her. He stated that they had an affair together because of course Stacy Sykes was engaged to some to an ex cop at the time and he believes the cop, her fiance killed him because she was dating a black man and having an affair. He has maintained his innocence. His family has maintained his innocence as well. Many people have very different opinions on the, his case. And my opinion on the case is really, I just, I don't know. I still have unanswered questions because I feel like they went straight for one person and they didn't look at everything, especially because the fiance failed the lie detector test. So there's a lot of things that come into play, especially, you know, you really don't try to bring up the race card, but it was just like, he was set to be the person from the beginning when you really look at the evidence. So that's just my two cents. I mean, I wasn't there, so I really don't know. You know, again, I just send love and light to Stacey Sites family and Rodney Reed's family because I'm just a middleman here. <laughs> Rodney's mom is happy. She has told um, the, she has told law, she has told everyone that she's truly happy and she's really praying that her son will walk through those doors a free man. I don't wanna read what his mother stated to reporters. She said, we had witnesses that were intimidated, but now it's a new day. 20 years or more have passed and things are changing. And I think this case will bring about change, said Sandra. The truth will shall set him free. But attorneys beg to differ. They say that, basically say like, they believe the fiance is innocent. Almost done. So that is pretty much the new information on Mr. Rodney Reed's case. Again, guys, everything will be linked down below so you can go watch the video on there and just really get into the details of it all and and you like, just research for yourself, you know, to figure out that case because the case is very interesting when you really just look at all the evidence that's surrounding it. So now to talk about Dolce Marie Alcavaz. There has not been any new information about her case but I really just wanted to shed light because it is one of the most, the newest ones that I did report on of a missing person. And she's still missing. It's been two months since her disappearance. And I think it's very important and very imperative that we keep her name and all the other missing persons people alive because you see how with Jennifer Keese, it's been 13 years. I do apologize if you hear my husband in the background I do apologize. I've been trying to record this for a minute and told him to shut up, but you know, but yeah. So basically the only new thing about her case is her family has done a visual for her two months later after, and they're just trying to really figure out what happened to her and how she disappeared just out of the face of the earth. And they're also announcing a new search. So as I find out more information, I will keep you guys updated again you know and if you have any new tips don't be afraid to drop them down below i do have a link where you can request any stories that you would love me to touch on because again there are so many missing people you know i feel like the numbers are really on a rise especially <laughs> children and women and it's really freaking scary um i know i said this in one of my other videos about why are so many people going missing especially women and children but i feel like it's just so important that we really talk about these things and we prepare our children to not talk to strangers and we we really like just get serious about this because it's on a rise and i don't think the numbers are going to ever slow down so yeah so that's pretty much all i have for you guys the with the updates again just sending love and light to all the families affected by any of these cases shut up and as I get more information, no! shut up! Oh. 
Shut your ass up. <laughs> but that's all guys. Um, don't forget to stay tuned for tomorrow for another missing person case. And if you guys didn't watch my health update video, I think it got cut off. Some of the information got cut off, but I will be doing um, Vlogmas. So I want you guys to send me as much cases and, and things that you want me to touch on because I want to do 25 videos. So every day I will be touching on a missing person case video, a, a crime story, fitness related, maybe cooking video or maybe a vlog. I just want to do a variety of things that just to bring some new just to really liven up the channel and give back to you guys because november again has really been very challenging for me due to my own health and just trying to like not be depressed and as my birthday as my birthday approaches on november 23rd i'm just really trying to get in the good spirit so again guys again hope you give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for more videos and if you're not subscribed you should really join the family new videos coming I gotta change the schedule, y'all. So we gonna work on that. Bye-bye.